Hey guys, welcome to Tour Japan. Uh, as you can see behind me, I am at Ueno Station. Um, today, we are going to be touring Amayoko Cho, uh, the street market area. I've done it before, uh, but I did get a little interrupted when I uh, saw John last time. So, hopefully, uh, I know John's in India, so this way we can uh, tour around. Uh, we are going to uh, start off at the station so that uh, everybody here can basically once you get to uh, Weno Station you know where uh, Amiyoko Cho is and how to get there and look at all the shops so on and so forth. Uh, we might take a trip over into uh, Weno Park. Um, not going to go to the zoo but uh, we're going to show uh, you know what there is to offer in Weno Park and uh, depending on my phone here uh, we might take a trip uh, it's a bit of a walk but we might actually take a trip over to I call it kitchen alley for anybody that's a chef out there um, basically it's a complete street full of why is my phone dying that's weird anyways uh, good morning hey Brandon Eddie Autobahn Dan I saw Tim the dude Ram is in here Jen Thank you for joining, um, John from Australia. I think it's Australia. I'm just looking back at the comments here. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm basically standing uh, in. Oh yeah, by the way, hashtag just saying hi, Mindy's mom. I did get two points. I should have had three, but yeah. Anyways, I <laughs> just had to do that, Eddie. Um, so yeah, we are uh, up on the uh, top deck or the walkway here of uh, Weno Station. Uh, Amayoko Cho is uh, basically over there, but we are going to start uh, by going down into the station and I'll talk a little about how to uh, get to uh, Weno. Uh, recovering from trivia. <laughs> it was a good trivia, I will say. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's start it off and uh, I was on this ledge right here. And I was really worried that if I had been drinking beers, the phone would have tipped right over. So, um, I don't know why this is doing this, but this here is uh, kind of an iconic uh, statue of Weno. When you come here, you will see this, and it is up on the uh, second level here. This is basically where I am standing. Hey, boiled nuts, yo cuz. And uh, of course, Amiyoko Cho is all over in that area here. <coughs> so yeah, let's get on uh, down into the station area and show you basically uh, Weno Station. A lot of tourists come here and uh, they're gonna hit Weno because Weno is one of your major tourist areas uh, for shopping and stuff. So we're gonna get over here and there's all kinds of access up there too uh, if we were to walk up there and go straight over that would take you straight over into Weno Park itself so yeah, we're just gonna head down these stairs here get into the side of the station show you a little bit of the station and uh, what you can do so um, as I turn the camera around here <coughs> Basically, Weno Station uh, has access from uh, the Ginza Line and uh, the Hibia Line. I think it's the Hibia Line. Um, those are the subways and, of course, JR um, uh, train. Sometimes, depending on where you're going, Weno Station might be the final stop or it might continue. Like, especially if you're coming from north, like in Saitama. Hey, Chris Conkle. <coughs> um, Basically, uh, it could be a final stop. So you gotta be careful when you actually do take trains, whether it stops at Weno and or keeps going through uh, north or south. So um, we are looking at this here. Some little restaurants, some uh, ATMs. Oh joy. And then we are going into the, uh, we're not gonna stay long in the station. But I do want to show you how beautiful it really is inside. It's pretty freaking awesome. This here is the entrance, the central entrance of uh, Weno Station. There are many, many different entrances here. And then we're opening up into uh, 
Bueno Station itself here. So yeah, this here would be uh, the central entrance. You can actually get a Shinkansen from here also. JR ticket office. This here is where you're gonna buy all your tickets and stuff. But check out, I, always, I think I talked about it earlier, about stained glass and stuff. But check that out. That's kind of uh, what we're looking at here. Inside the station, there is a little bit to do, but not much. And I'm just gonna turn around to show you the uh, top of the entrance with the mural up there. So when you're walking in here, this is basically uh, kind of what you're looking at here. I don't know why my phone keeps uh, dimming out. It's kind of weird, never done that before. You do have, uh, down, down here are some shops in the, uh, you can see the name there. Godiva uh, grocery store. There's a bread place over there. Um, you can see the sign up here, the Hibia line and Ginza line. So to go down to the subway, you would uh, head down into that way here. They do have a Hard Rock Cafe. I've only been there twice. Don't really like Hard Rock too much. This guy's taking pictures. Oh, Christina's in the house. Winnow Station can get quite busy. They do have the Hard Rock Cafe shop. Then basically we're just heading out to the Hirokoji exit, central exit, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to head straight into uh, Ameyokocho, all the street markets. Can you keep Mindy's mom company? <laughs> My phone keeps, uh, I don't know what it's doing, but. So as you come out of um, the exit here, you know you're going in the right spot when uh, you have Starbucks there. And uh, boom, you're going to hit uh, a lot of stuff here. Now this uh, Marui department store here uh, has the loft on the fifth floor, a Nitori on the eighth floor, Franc Franc, uh, Muji, very good place to shop. Um, I go shopping here a lot, but we're gonna actually hit some more cheaper things. I better catch the light as it's changing here. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite, favorite places to uh, to come, uh, it's cheap shopping. What kind of mic are you using? I'm used to using my cell phone, uh, Christina. I have nothing but my phone and the gumball, of course. So again, um, real quickly, I'm gonna sidetrack for one second because I'm kind of hoping uh, you'll catch the drift of what I'm doing here. All kinds of people just handing things out. This is a small lottery booth. Love walk around lives. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining. <coughs> so we're going to go up this street first. There's about seven or eight, seven streets um, that go horizontal from, uh, no, vertical, horizontal, vertical, something like that, uh, from the station. It's basically a square full of side streets and you'll get the idea. But uh, just because I have to do this, as you come around to the left of the station and you see that little girl. Ah, oh, there's old Slow. How are you, buddy? Thanks for joining. Got my message, obviously. So here on the first stop of the tour of Bueno is the hub. I just had to. So give me a thumbs up for that one, please. Oh, he looks grumpy. Jason Reynolds, hey Drew. Can't get that chat there. What's going on today? We're in Weno. We're walking around El Mayokocho. It's freezing in Japan. <laughs> it's not that bad. Jim, I know you're only uh, probably an hour away from where I am right now, but I'm in a shirt and a vest. It's not that cold. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get some food today. Um, 
But first off, we're gonna go down the first street here. I don't actually come down this street much. So, <coughs> 7-Eleven's like crazy, of course. <coughs> but hopefully we can hit the food areas. Uh, I even might hit that Korean uh, place. Ah, oh, you know what? Sorry, guys. Let me uh, see if I can uh, shut the Wi-Fi off. The Wi-Fi was uh, killing my stream there. I, I didn't understand why. Now I know why. So I'm behind. The department store is right here. So on the first street here is not that much for the first block. And we're going to be zigzagging all over the place. Hey, Polly. What's up, Chris? <coughs> I do have the sun in my eyes, so it's really hard to read the chat, just as, as always. YouTube notifications are terrible. Yeah, I notice that too all the time. Hey, Sean. I think TD Drew needs to eat natto for not saying hi. I said hi. And I will never eat natto. Never. You'd have to pay me a hundred bucks to eat natto. It's just, it's that gross. I've never been to like this area here. It looks all closed down though. So I think this first street is uh, not the greatest. We're gonna get more into where all the people are in a second here. Uh, Gyoza Hanabai is, uh, this is a pretty cool place. Let's see what's up. Um, you know, they have lunch sets, you know, things like that. It's pretty cheap. I'm looking at 583 yen, seven, 900. And you can see all kinds of different foods there. Looks pretty filling to be honest. And now we're uh, about one block in. The more popular area once we get into it, which I'm kind of scared to go because it's Friday. And uh, there you go, Christina. You could use those flowers to decorate all your houses that you're selling. <coughs> So I'm, I'm just going to get right into the thick of things. Again, another uh, street. Weno Station is right up at the front there. I'm going to go... Uh, I don't know why my phone keeps dying out. I heard Natsu was filling. Yeah, I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. I think I've shown you this before, though. Um, obviously, this is some sort of a jewelry shop or something, but bottle off. This is an interesting concept. Um, it's basically like hard off and hobby off. It's a recycle shop, but they sell alcohol, which you can come here if you have an unopened bottle of alcohol, you can sell it to them. Uh, I'm not exactly sure like what you get, but as an example here, um, well, they're, look, no, they got an, a Yamazaki 12 year for $200. It's probably worth $250, so get a bit of a discount. But that's uh, basically what we're looking at here. So that's pretty cool. This Yakiniku place here, uh, very, very expensive. Uh, you're going to see a lot of slot machines and pachinko parlors. That's what you're hearing right now coming from this place. And I hate those damn things. And then all of a sudden, boom, another hub. Uh, in this hub here, I actually met uh, Andy Stubbs. We actually went to Kieran City, but uh, that's number two hub. There are three hubs here. Uh, we might not hit the third one. But these are all... Uh, Nice little restaurants to uh, have lunch at. You can see all the different kinds of food, things like that. This store is pretty cool. I know there's no cameras allowed, um, but it's, uh, it just sells all kinds of weird stuff. I actually want this here, the STP uh, floor mat. Like that is freaking cool, in my books anyways. Or that big pizza thing, that's pretty cool. Line, people are going to be lining up for lunch.
Is the gimbal an Osmo? No, it's, uh, the, I forget how to, how to pronounce it. It's a Zihin, uh, Zithin, Zihin Smooth 4. Oh, Ram, thanks, man. Get the wife a rose on your way home. A little romance goes a long way. Absolutely, dude. Maybe I'll get me some tonight. <laughs> As Christina would say, hashtag just say it. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. This here is uh, one of the lottery booths. I'm actually gonna walk to the end and I'm gonna show you an amazing lottery booth. You guys have probably seen it before though. Uh, people are actually uh, lining up. I bet you at the next one there is. And you can see like all these, uh, all like that's the train up there. And uh, is the Vince thing, he always says, yes, I know he does, but I hear you say it more. Or maybe Eddie says it more. Well, actually, I hear all three of you say it, so, and I say it now a lot. So it's a group effort. Yo, cuz, hashtag just say. So I'm gonna skip this area here. There's just, like, there's actually a tattoo parlor right there. Like, for a lot of people that wonder um, about tattoo parlors here in Japan, they actually do have them. I know of uh, two uh, tattoo parlors uh, here in Japan. Um, if you're looking for not the greatest curry, but uh, this I call it the gorilla place, and I'll just move out of the way here. Uh, very popular here is uh, this yellow place. If you can read that, uh, hi Joyce. Um, very very popular is this place here. If that guy wasn't standing there, they actually have four options. Um, of that meal there the big one being only a thousand yen they do have uh, english menus as you can see there uh, but it's not a bad place to actually uh, eat lunch and it's cheap enough so as we're walking i'm just gonna i'm gonna zigzag through this alley here um everybody's lining up for for lunch and stuff actually no i'm not i'm gonna why does my phone keep dying out hmm over uh, on the right here, uh, I believe, let me check first. Oh no, I must be in the wrong street. Maybe it's the street over. I was looking for a uh, Korean barbecue place you can enjoy. What do you have in mind for food today? I'm not exactly sure. Nice walking streets, a lot of retail, very cool. Yeah, there's like nobody drives around here except for in the morning. Zach showed a line for lottery that was almost three blocks long in Shiba yesterday in his video. I saw that, yeah. I would want noodles for lunch. Oh, I'm sick of noodles. Ramen, udon, soba. When you live here for a while, you get really tired of certain foods. I don't eat, I eat ramen maybe once a month. Udon once a month, I had soba. So th this here is uh, another lottery booth coming up here. You can see security guards. Uh, it's one of the lucky areas. I don't think I can uh, <coughs> get around. And this is what bothers me, is people trying to use bikes on the sidewalk. <laughs> Buttercups. So as you can see, that lineup goes way down there. Probably, I'm looking at least two blocks long and they are all over the place. It looks like a good hour wait. We might hit it later. Just for this, uh, I'm tatted up big time. In San Marcos. So this here is uh, very supposedly one of the luckier uh, lottery places. Obviously, high volume sales. So you know, people probably believe that they can win. <laughs> yeah, I think the most I ever won in Japan is 174 dollars. This here is um, a very, very good uh, Korean place. Uh, they do have uh, all you can eat. Uh, menu. Um, I ate here uh, just a few months ago. Hello. And uh, 90 minutes, I think it costs like uh, 15 bucks or something like that. Um, maybe 20 bucks. The sign is actually hiding behind, but they do have like a 29.80, and maybe that's what it was, but I think that may be for dinner. I'm not exactly sure. So. <clears throat> 
lots of shoe shops here, lots of sports clothing, all in these little areas here. If you have, uh, if your foot is over, say, uh, 11, size 11 or uh, 29 centimeters, very, very difficult to find, uh, to find shoes here in Japan. Uh, they do actually do have, um, hey, thanks, Chris. They actually do have a big shoe size store here and it's usually double the price. So we're gonna get over into the market on the next turn here. Um, I think I have shown you guys uh, basically uh, the underground shopping areas a little bit. We might pop in there after. My phone keeps dimming out. I don't get it. I gotta keep touching the screen. It's never done that before. Must have something set wrong. But this is basically the ambiance of uh, Ueno. When you come here on any day, it's gonna be this busy. Oh, there we go. There's a truck driving. <clears throat> so now we're right underneath the train here. Um, some good old Japanese things going on. There's uh, a famous, I think I've shown it before, uh, green tea shop up there. And underneath the train here, obviously you can see inside, um, my favorite snack shop is uh, down that way there, but they got complete shopping all underneath here. And as I turn around, you can go all the way underneath there also. Army surplus store, very expensive actually, I was surprised. And a lot of the things here they have from Japan, from America, from France, all kinds of things. And you'll see like the signs on stuff here, like, you know, those jackets from, are from America. I only see America right now as I'm saying like that's from France. They're in there somewhere. And now we're basically in the thick of uh, the market area. Uh, you can see basically there's all kinds of streets here. And it just goes forever. So, um, yeah, let's go uh, this way first. Because I am hungry. I do know that I'll probably hit that Korean uh, place that John did and I've done. Because I just want another one for those people that have never witnessed me have one but a lot of different stores here selling all kinds of uh, different things you can see that it gets a little congested the guy standing up there holding the sign basically is selling knockoff stuff uh, you know maybe 3,000 yen um, yeah it looks like a 3,000 yen store everything in the store is three, 30 bucks so that's pretty cool. Actually, it's not that bad, but still not the greatest. You got some dried fruit places. And you're going to see a lot of these stores. This is, uh, I'm not sure if this is London Sports. Yeah, this is London Sports here. Um, but how fun would it be to rummage in these uh, cardboard boxes? just for, you know, trying to find deals. The shoes are not that cheap. Still cheap enough, but, and usually sometimes they have boxes where you can just rummage through all the shoes, try to find good deals that way. So, I know there's some food here. There might be, a, yeah, there's a big lineup, so I'm gonna have to come back later. Um, copy or real, probably copy. Uh, this this is a takoyaki place, which is quite famous here in uh, Weno. This is that uh, Korean hot dog place that I was uh, did the vlog on, and John has done, and so yeah, on and so forth. Right? How do you know that? Oh, oh really? I'm I'm streaming live right yeah. now. Oh, well, nice! I saw you. I saw you when you were live with. Uh, um, Just saw this guy. I saw you when you were live with uh, John. Uh, oh, John, when we were here, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you guys <laughs> and went for that? beers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm live streaming now again. Oh, nice, so, nice. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Vancouver. Oh, are you from Vancouver? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. What, what part? Uh, I live in Yale Town. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. This guy must be rich because he lives in Yale Town. Yeah, I don't, yeah, are you no, from Vancouver? Uh, Seattle. Oh, party town. Yeah. 
<laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah. What are you doing over here? Just visiting? Yeah, just visiting. Vacation. Vacation, yeah. All right. Uh, how long are you yeah. here for? Uh, until uh, Friday, a week today. We got here last night. All right on. Yeah. Where are you staying? Uh, we're staying at the uh, in Akasaka, Mitsuki. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, dude, yeah. message me if you want to go for beers one day. Yeah, sounds good. If, if you do, you know, I don't, I don't know, but... Uh, hey, beers, beers in Japan go hand in hand, right? Absolutely, right? Yeah, Later, man. Care. Well, that was pretty cool. And they're Canadian. Well, the one guy was Canadian anyways, so that, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. You just all of a sudden, hey! This here um, is that uh, snack store I was talking about. Um, well, the grocery store here. Uh, it goes in here, goes around underneath the temple here, which is the entrance is right here. Um, Norm from Tokyo Lens says this is one of the greatest stores. I don't, it's a good store. I'm not super popular. I wish I was, but uh, it's just always nice to uh, see people uh, when they come to Japan, whether they've watched my video or, uh, you know, know me through John, basically. <laughs> we can say we knew Drew when, yeah. When you help me with that damn OBS. Um, and then this is like, there's these sports stores are gonna be like everywhere. Um, again, some of the prices are good. Some of the prices are not so great. So it all depends on uh, what you're shopping for. And right beside it is another store. I've missed a lot of comments, but uh, sorry about that. He is a celebrity now. <laughs> Never a celebrity. Just going back. I'm trying to read some of the comments. Another knockoff bag place. I call them knockoff bags. I don't know if they really are, but obviously they must be. And then this is the end of Amiyokocho. Um, we're about six, seven blocks, six blocks in. So basically from uh, north to south, it's about six blocks and it's complete uh, a square grid, basically. Uh, as we walk down the next one here, you're gonna get all your shoe stores again. You got another Korean barbecue, lots of Korean barbecue places here. This is uh, the Hard Off and Hobby Off store. <coughs> that uh, it's basically a recycle shop um, which is still pretty cool and uh, we can go inside here for a sec and if we go upstairs I'll just show you a little bit uh, I don't think so so yeah, basically, you know, you got guitars. This is obviously uh, the music floor. There is an elevator, but I'll lose uh, Wi-Fi. So, okay, I didn't hear that. Okay, do they consider? <laughs> yeah, Christmas here, Japan, and then you're gonna go up every store floor. I mean, now looking here, you can see like the fifth floor. What it has. And it's good that it has it in English, trading cards, appliances, junk. Like, yeah, it's junk. Second floor and first floor. So this is, uh, sometimes you can get good deals here. Sometimes you can't. Um, like check this out. I just saw this. Some old vinyl. Patty Austin, Elvis. Papa Joe, King Oliver, all kinds of things. I do know the trading cards they have here are not what you're thinking. Um, and yeah, no, it's not what you're thinking. It really isn't. Uh, their, their idea of trading cards are all these Japanese things. They do not have uh, anything international. This here is a typical gate. No, no NBA, like no sports. That's why I didn't even bother. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. I've never seen this store actually with uh, Yukatas. That's like a $60, that's actually cheap, but it's just uh, a thin kind of uh, robe style. But if you're looking for authentic, uh, well, not authentic, but 
at least something decent enough uh, to take home as souvenirs. Maybe this shop will be pretty cool. It's right by the uh, Okinawa Dining or right beside the, the Soup Company outlet. And uh, so yeah, now we're going back in here. <coughs> Again, another cross street. Um, there's another main road over there. That will go over to uh, Weno Park. As we come around, I just basically went into a square because there's the train there again. Um, the, uh, the military store, whatever the hell I called it there, um, is on the corner there. So I've basically just gone around in a square. ABC Mart, very popular shoe store. Murasaki Sports uh, is quite popular here. But again, sizes are difficult, guys. If you're a big guy like me, you just, you gotta, until you travel home, that's when you get your stuff that you, you're gonna wear. Unless you're lucky enough to actually find stuff. So taking a left underneath the train tracks, staying parallel with the train tracks, uh, we're gonna hit into the food kind of market area here. This here is, uh, very popular green, uh, green tea. It's the uh, Sankuan. Green tea, seaweed, things like that. Um, another place that you could uh, get a lot of, you know, omi our presents and stuff to take back. What would you say is the most popular souvenir people bring home? I honestly, I don't know. Uh, depends on what you're in. Like, you could be anime stuff. It could be sna Japanese snacks. It all just depends on what your taste is. You know, these are the market people working away here. We're gonna get we're gonna get up to the fish guys in a minute, and you're gonna see like a lot of uh, you know Chinese people are here, a lot of uh, Turkish, because there's a lot of kebab places here too. Oh, cool! Hey, Jim, Jim Tai. Of candy and snacks that's what i do when i go home actually i uh like last time i was in hawaii i brought home a, a seriously a suitcase full of um snacks this here is just one of your local fish markets they're all making deals not you know it doesn't compare obviously to uh tsukiji it's obviously a good temperature to uh have fresh seafood sitting out uh, out there. An 18 count shrimp or, or prawns for 10 bucks. Very cheap to, to, to show here. Uh, lobsters are 12 bucks. The crab is expensive here. So that's still pretty cool. You gotta watch out for the grandmas. But this is where I, I actually buy my prawns and stuff because they have like a really good choice of uh, prawns over there. And I'm just trying to get through all the people that are not moving. Still can't get over how expensive fruits are. Fruit is expensive here. So yeah, and you got crabs like four for 10 bucks. That's pretty cheap actually. Oysters are eight for a thousand yen. Sorry, I had to click on my phone again here. 14 likes. Come on, smoosh the like button, guys. And now we're getting more into, uh, well, some of the um, the little side restaurants here. More uh, knockoff bag places. And more of an underground mall in there also. I wanted to go to this place here, but uh, it looks a little too busy. It's actually kind of dirty, but it's got good food. Street food, that's what it's all about, right? Here's a fruit stand here, chocolate covered bananas, fruit on a stick, pineapple, melon, uh, cantaloupe and strawberries and you know what's really funny is strawberry season here in Japan is January I just I could never understand that but oh well um, 
You're going to see uh, a kebab place there. Then you got the chicken man. This chicken man place is really good. And then you got another kebab place. So two kebab places within three stores, which is uh, crazy. And these long potatoes really suck. Was that water ice? I didn't see it. Seen some cuties. Well, of course you are. We're in Japan, dude. They're all cute. Well, whoa, not her. And then she waved at the camera. Mm. <laughs> I'm so mean. This here is another uh, market. I'm uh, not market, another stall. Never shopped at this one, actually. <laughs> Looks like, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Whether it's got kimchi or... That looks like bags of kimchi. Where's Richard Garner? Yeah, really. <laughs> Not sure what they're serving here, but... Ah, I missed it. I was looking for... Hey, Drew, how are you? Sandy, good. Hello. Oh, my God. I'm looking for the sake place. I must have passed by it. Hold on, let me find... Uh... I always said I was going to go here. Let's see if it's busy though. This place here, you can is a you know kind of Korean food here, obviously. Hey, Nosh, how are you? Thanks for joining in, bro. <coughs> I'm not reading all the comments, guys. I do apologize. Oh, here's the sake. Oh no, they changed it now. It's gone. Oh, it used to be like right here. Now they have a market here. So obviously uh, the sake place is not happening, which uh, is too bad. Everybody's saying hi to Nod. His name popped up on my screen. And of course you can see uh, Amea the sign up there a lot you know you're gonna see a lot of tourists here also um, I'd say the number one tourist here in Weno uh, are of Chinese descent um, you know big business uh, for Japan with the Chinese coming over and shopping which is awesome um, and they like when they shop they shop it's freaking amazing Just trying to uh, work my way by. Yeah, I, I can see over everybody's heads, put it that way, which is still pretty cool, right? Just trying to work my way through. And uh, some guy with a camera. And that over there, I, I think it's Yodabashi Camera, I'm pretty sure. Uh, one of the big electronic stores here in Weno. And then if we go back under the train uh, area, it's just like, it's amazing to uh, sit here and shop. I'm not doing Nato, dude. <laughs> I just can't do it. Um, so when I saw those two guys earlier, um, they were at the Korean hot dog place. And uh, I'm kind of hoping there's another one right here. And uh, kind of hoping that maybe I can uh, grab one here. I just don't know which one I should get. So this is what I'm looking at. Premium hot dogs. Uh, I think the last one I tried was that one there. Brandon won in trivia, that really? So many stores, there are so many stores here. Christine would be like in her heyday uh, shopping here. So I think I'm actually gonna get the same one again. The potato and mozzarella. Get the chili dog. Which one is the chili dog? That's a, that's a potato hot dog, squid leg hot dog. Mozzarella cheese hot dog. I don't think that one is any good. Uh, cheddar cheese uh, hot dog. 
not that one, uh, the Arang hot dog. This one is the best because it's covered in french fries. So, uh, hold on one sec, I'm gonna get one here. I'm just gonna get, just gonna get one. Can we get the potato matzah? So it's 480 yen uh, for one of these. Uh, it's gonna probably take about a few minutes to cook. I, so uh, I'm, <coughs> obviously you can't read that, but I am number nine. And uh, just to show you a little bit of uh, around here. Um, so I'll come back here in a sec, because I know it's gonna take a few minutes. This is new. Um, this actually used to be a smoke shop. Uh, old old uh, grandma and grandpa used to, obviously they've cleared it out, or maybe they're still the owners, not sure. But now it's kind of into an Icos. Um, this shop here is actually really new. And then usually on the weekends, or sometimes in the daytime, um, they have this little alley here. Uh, this here, this uh, area, they have tables all sitting out here. Uh, there's Richard Garner. Hello, Richard. Thanks for joining. Um, and usually they, they have a lot of uh, tables sitting out here, but maybe it's winter time, it's too cold. Then if you walk down this alley, just right here, there are so many uh, little izakaya snack places and my favorite uh, curry shops. So I was actually going to go do the curry shop today, but I wasn't sure if I could uh, actually film uh, inside. So I decided uh, not to go. It's kind of funny that I'm, I'm standing just off to the side here now. There was only one person, now there's like, you know, getting more and more people. This, um, <coughs> these Korean things are so popular that uh, I, every time I pass by one, I, I just, I have to have one. They are just that good. Um, and I know they offer a lot of different sauces and stuff. I wish they kind of had a counter. Um, I could put the gimbal down a bit, but wow. oh well. I know they have like cheese mustard, cheddar cheese, uh, spicy hot sauce, honey mustard. I think I tried the honey mustard, it was one of my favorites. Um, but check this out these are the sauces you can put on top like all these sauces and stuff. And you can actually roll it in, in uh, coconut powdered sugar, things like that. So, ledge search, you know, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm thinking of putting it right, right there. Hopefully, uh, they'll let me do that. And then I'll uh, suck it back. So that's what she's got, and that's what I'm going to get, too. But it's a pretty awesome area, being in Weno. Did Crypto get his ear cleaned out? This guy, one of the cook guys is from the other store. I, I remember you were from oh, the other store, the show? Ah, okay. <laughs> so I, I just, he saw me and recognized me. Um, yeah, I'm getting my stand ready. Why the what? We should just do a, a CAVCG meetup with, okay. Why is nothing in English? I wonder why. Actually, if it was in English, my life would be so much better. <laughs> they don't have a ledge, but I'm still gonna ledge it somehow. Somehow. They're just, uh, this, this shop here is a lot smaller than uh, the other shop, and the other shop is more popular because it's right in the thick of things. So, but, same freaking food anyway so why not I'm getting tired of this music though uh, right across here um, you actually do have a pretty good uh, Thai restaurant which is pretty cool I wish everything was in Gaelic <laughs> takes a while for these things to cook that's for damn sure I'm gonna go try and find a ledge away from this area um, Hopefully because of, you know, what you're listening to uh, doesn't get me. It'll probably get me anyways, but oh well. 
not too worried about it. Because it's a Korean shop in Japan. <laughs> well, it does have English though. It does, like, you can see. It's got the Korean, the Japanese, and the English. So, you know, they are kind of friendly. Just point and grunt. Oh yeah, that's, that works. That's usually what I do anyway, it's just, uh, uh. So, that usually works a lot too. Just gotta find a ledge. Oh, you need that All right, so this is what I got. And I know honey mustard is my favorite. Hopefully, hopefully I can uh, get this going here. Honey mustard. This is gonna be freaking hot. But uh, check this out, guys. It's too hot. I am in a tourist area. I'm in Bueno. And yes, I sp they speak English here. This was Philly. Your probably will be gone by now. Hey, Andy. I was actually mentioning you earlier. Mm. Look at that. Freaking amazing. All right. Hey, my All the way through, we're gonna go take a walk. Grab some tissues, or Kleenex anyways. And uh, what were you about, what? Oh, I was talking about uh, when we were at Kirin City, when you came uh, up to um, Tokyo last year. I'm just gonna kind of go into the alley here. I'm actually gonna sit on the ground and freaking eat this because there is no ledge, but that's okay. Maybe I'll find a ledge somewhere. Oh, I found a, <laughs> hopefully they'll let me, oh, somebody puts it here, I don't care. Found a ledge, well, I'm on top of an air conditioner, but um, well, well, Drew, deadline passed. Guess my back pay for Japan, bit of good news for me, awesome. Can you do the agent squat? No, I cannot. I'm too freaking fat. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, basically what I'm eating here. You guys have seen this before, um, but I just, I, I had to for anybody that's new to the channel, like these are awesome. I probably know who it is, Richard. <laughs> I cannot do it, John. I can't even reach my freaking toes. How's the diet going? I gave up uh, about two weeks ago and um, I'm gearing up for January. But just don't ask boiled nuts. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but mozzarella cheese deep fried in French fries. Like how freaking awesome is this? It's so good. And you guys probably joined me on my live stream uh, in Koreatown. Uh, these stores are very popular. Obviously, it's Korean, but. amazing when I was in Korea in May I experienced this for the first time but it had like hot dog pieces and it was like freaking huge these are still uh, if you do come here to Weno or Koreatown and it is hard to diet during the holidays uh, Joyce but not that hard in Japan because we don't eat turkey that much Amazing. I'm in the back alley of Wendell. Not that bad though. Like, oh. What's their spin on pizza? Interesting to say that.
Hold on, slow. Mm, that was awesome. And only 480 uh, yen for that snack. Not too bad. Um, sorry, OMS, I forgot the question now. Where is it? What's their spin on pizza? Ah, pizza. You come to Japan and you order pizza, you're gonna get so thin pizza, it like when you pick it up, a slice, it'll just flop. I really do not like Japanese style pizza. Um, honestly, even Shakey's Pizza, uh, I've done a couple of vlogs on Shakey, Shakey's Pizza, uh, private and uh, public. It's not that great. Yeah, exactly, Nosh. It, it, like, even if it was piping hot, yeah. Well, I'm hungry. And I don't want to bore you guys uh, having that uh, quick snack there. Um, but I will say, like, Domino's and Pizza Hut, you know, the big chains, obviously, worldwide. If you're going to eat pizza, eat that. So, yeah, I was uh, just over by that air conditioner there. Um, Drew, is a Cracker Thin pizza? Even thinner than Cracker Thin. Oh, hey, Seb, how are you, bro? Um, and I actually do have a vlog coming out tonight about Domino's Pizza Japan, which uh, is pretty awesome. Hold on, let me just get into the garbage here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue on here, guys. Um, lots and lots of shopping stores here. This is another surplus store. So we came basically, this here, um, very famous for taking pictures because the alley splits. A lot of people come here. The markets are down here. Uh, not so much markets there. But as you continue on down here, you're going to find uh, some good deals. Um, just all kinds of uh, stuff going on here. Yeah. These are Chinese markets, by the way. Just because all the guys are Chinese. Kind of a game center going on here. And then you're going to, you know, hit your souvenir shops and stuff, right? Uh, what's on for Christmas Day, Drew? Uh, I'm not sure right now. Costco pizza is popular here in the States, and it's very popular here, too. Pretty much the same thing, anyways. This here, if you come here, these are Japanese snacks, you can get really good deals. Um, I do know that, uh, pretty sure that's the sun working there now, but uh, Senyan, he'll stand there and he will stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff uh, a, um, a uh, what am I trying to say here, a bag. They'll keep stuffing. Send yen, send yen. And they keep stuffing and stuffing and stuffing and stuffing. It's really, really cool. So it's uh, one of the places uh, a lot of people come to uh, shop. And uh, you can see there some people are standing. Um, actually, the old man in the yellow hat wanted to do something on camera. But then his wife came out and said no. So I'm going to continue on. Um, <coughs> Some of these shops are good. Now, you know, some, I don't know if they're real leather or fake leather, but Bell's anywhere from five to 10 bucks. Uh, another grocery store here. Ooh, bless you. A Little bit of Kit Kat going on, more uh, restaurants. And I think I've shown you this before, like how cool is that tuna? Even though it's not real, but still looks pretty cool. So we pretty much walked a lot around. This place here on the weekends is crepe shop with all these kind of different crepes here. But I don't know if you guys experienced it back home or not, but uh, it's pretty freaking awesome, right? What's rainbow fish? I have no idea. And again, we're gonna head over to Weno Park in a minute. Sunglasses. Uh, all kinds of different uh, stores here. And then one of my favorite fruit and vegetable markets is just down the edge here. Headed out guys, have a good night. Brandon, thank you so much for joining. 
walk right by you. Hot girls in masks? Really? Uh, I see nobody. And if you're talking about those schoolgirls, uh, yuck. The white haired guy behind you wants to photobomb the stream. Probably. <laughs> So now we're coming out, basically out of uh, the Amiyoko Street Market area. And this here is uh, kind of more uh, out of the way. It's at the beginning, so a lot of people walk by here. But you can, now we always say fruit and vegetables are expensive here. But um, I'll just keep going by here really. You know, a bunch of grapes, uh, things like that for Sen Yen. Uh, a whole box of avocados. What's that? One, two, three, four, five. Six avocados for five bucks. Here in Japan, this is a, these are actually really good deals. You know, they have uh, apples. Uh, you're getting five apples for seven dollars. Um, you know, a bunch of different things. Strawberries there. A bit expensive, but not sure what they are back home. And then a bit of vegetables here. Uh, a bunch of tomatoes for six bucks, uh, ginger, oranges. Uh, like that, That's a little expensive, I think. Uh, that box of tomatoes there is $13. $13 for a box of tomatoes. Go figure. And now we are uh, back out into the, one of the main, the main street again. Bueno Station is right here. Um, when we first came out uh, uh, a little less than an hour ago, we actually came out from over there and walked down and came out into the area. We've gone up uh, probably 10 or 12 different streets. Um, and just to give you an idea again, no, they would not let me try an apple for free. <laughs> I'd have to pay the $2 for a freaking apple. <coughs> it's a dancing soba. It's the dancing soba. Okay. The one place I never did go up was the next street over. This was the alley I was telling you about um, with all the shops. I was actually a block and a half up. Oh, the sun's in my eyes. Um, this here, my absolute favorite curry shop. It's uh, busy as hell right now. Um, when you walk into here, uh, you can see that it's just, if you guys can see that as they walk in, um, yeah, it's busy. It's just a, a kind of a U-shaped uh, counter, probably holds about 25 people. And basically you walk in and you go to the ticket machine to buy a ticket and then you go to sit down. Um, just to give you an idea of what they actually serve here is basically these uh, things here. So again, you got, uh, that's like fried pork with rice and curry. They got uh, fried chicken. You can get just curry. You can get different toppings on it, like cheese and things like that. <laughs> yeah, you don't see dancing noodles all the time either, right? So um, yeah, guys, that was uh, Amayokocho. Uh, area real quickly. I didn't go into the underground. Um, you can check some of my other videos uh, of Weno and uh, the underground areas. Um, some great shopping. There's a lot of hidden places here uh, in Weno. Um, but now we're going to head over uh, into Weno Park. Uh, so behind me is Weno Station. I'm under the train here. And uh, hopefully. Those, uh, those noodles right there? Right there? <laughs> Could you imagine a Christmas tree and then have the noodles going up and down? That'd be freaking hilarious. Behind you was a hot chick. <laughs> There's hot women everywhere in this country. This here, this building here is very new for the last uh, 10 years or so. Um, a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, restaurants in there, like Lotterio, they got Cozy Corner, which is a dessert place. Um, pizza, pasta, all kinds of different things. And then over here, which we're gonna go into, is the Keisei Weno Station. 
So again, over there is Bueno Station. And if you have luggage, say you're coming from Narita, you would probably come into uh, the Keisei Weno if you take the Skyliner, which is still Weno, but you'd have to transfer between the stations to go throughout uh, Tokyo, wherever you may be. The Bible people. I call them the Bible people. I know it's weird. <coughs> oh, here you go. More foreigners on uh, the Mario car. This is what LMA wants me to do. Yeah, no. All right. Would I fit? Thanks, Boiled Nuts. <laughs> so uh, this here is uh, right beside Keisei Ueno Station. Um, basically, uh, if you're coming from Narita Station, uh, when you come to Japan, uh, you can catch the Keisei Liner or the Keisei Line. It'll take you straight to uh, Ueno here, uh, which is right part of uh, Ueno Park. Um, as I'm standing here, I'll turn the camera around. Weno Station is over there. They actually do have an underground walkway. Check one of my videos uh, for that. And then up here is basically Weno Park. Uh, Weno Park is an amazing uh, park in the middle of the city. Um, they have the Weno Zoo here. They have museums. Tomorrow, or maybe it's today, the Natural uh, History Museum is free to enter. But again, no filming. <clears throat> you're gonna have street performers here all the time and you can see like that's the, the main street over there again and this is just the park guys um, lots and lots of stuff to do here This guy's being an idiot. Telling somebody that they're stupid. No idea why. So yeah, in the springtime, oh, I'm back, had to check on uh, chainsaw. I bought it today. Because it did not run and already fixed it just now. <coughs> cool. <coughs> so, if you're here in March, late March, early April, I say late March, Sakura trees is freaking amazingly beautiful here. Uh, a lot of people come here to take photos, which is still pretty cool. There is a temple here. Um, there's shrines. There's the zoo, museums, a nice looking Starbucks. Yeah, I had to put a Starbucks plug in there, I guess. And there's all kinds of different little paths and stuff, but basically give you an idea. And I'm getting a good workout walking. These two of Japans are killing me. I'll put the money towards chainsaw because that's the one I really want. Yeah, I have no idea what, it's, what about chainsaws, but hey, I want to see the bamboo forest. I actually want to go down to Mount Fuji and film that famous forest. As we're walking here, this here is one of the temples. We'll probably, I'll probably hit that up on the way back. Or maybe I'll just, I hate, I hate stairs. Drew, you got a height advantage there if anything kicks off. Pretty much. Yeah, let's go up here and see what's going on up here. I, Pretty sure this is where I want to go. I've heard of that name still. It's a chainsaw thing or a tool thing, which as you all don't know anything about tools, but everything I've learned has come from Vince, basically. Even though I know what tools are, but 
cue the Rocky music. Yeah, right. <laughs> cue the uh, something. All right. Oh, I know. So we could have come up the stairs that were over there. I uh, came around the other way. And uh, yeah, this is what you're gonna hit here is a nice little temple area. Somebody else is uh, filming with pretty cool looking uh, stabilizer. So I'll be quiet and just give you a little bit of uh, a look around. is inside the shrine itself. Oops, I almost tripped. So I can't take pictures inside. That's basically what we're looking at here. been years and family took care of us um i don't know i think japan is relatively awesome to be uh anywhere you want i absolutely love this whole concept here you can uh walk underneath and this just opens you up more into the park it's gonna be very quiet here which is what i love about Weno park um Too bad it wasn't more green, obviously. So that's kind of uh, what we're looking at here. And of course, like, you know, like, on the uh, Winnow Park, it's gonna be a lot of empty space. Um, if you like just the park atmosphere itself, uh, more towards the middle or the inside of the park, where the zoo is and where they have, um, like the Taiwan festival I did a few months ago, it was inside Weno Park, uh, where they, you know, Thai, Taiwanese food, which is pretty freaking awesome. Can I have a Japanese emperor chair and be carried around? Well, you could Lloyd, but that means I'd have to build it. And yeah, I can't build worse shit, so. But once we get up uh, here closer, I'm gonna take you into Maybe one of the main roads. Don't know why my phone keeps doing that. Some nice little red tree over there. That looks nice, actually. Surprised. Oh no, now I gotta go pee again. God damn it, why do I always gotta do this? Robot restaurant, no, 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 not robot restaurant. God, no, stay away. Stay away from the robot restaurant. the Japanese parade. Pretty much, eh, Nosh? I am reading as we go. I'm just not answering everything. Lots of crows here. Now, maybe we might even hit... Uh, I'll show you a bit of the homeless uh, area. Um, Weno Park is very... Uh, no, I'm not going to say famous, but a lot of uh, homeless people make their home here in the park. Um, it's not like back home. I know that uh, if people actually set up, um, you know, cardboard boxes and all that, the police or the city would get on them. But here they don't do so much. Um, so hopefully we can find that area. I'm just going to walk over to this temple here. This was the one I thought we were going to. Go behind a tree, Drew. Yeah, I should, eh? So yeah, this is uh, what we're looking at here. And like how picturesque is this which is still pretty cool this is where I wanted to go of course uh, they're just gonna I'm just gonna keep walking hurry up take your picture I'll wait for these people you'll see a lot of this here in Japan a lot of people taking pictures how cool is this just walking through like this still pretty cool 
And she decides to stop and have a drink. And of course I'm going down more stairs, which means I have to go upstairs, which probably sucks. I am ducking actually, Tim. <laughs> and it brings you out into a little temple area. Um, again, this is your donation box uh, with the bells. Uh, you can pray there. Still pretty cool though. And again, as you all know, I love these buildings and the clay. Uh, Roofs. Uh, this is obviously somebody's. You guys all know what this is, of course. You've seen it a hundred of my videos. You're making donation, Drew. I'm not Buddhist, so I will not uh, do that. Um, duck. So Some little schoolgirls. Uh, looks like. Drew did it to that place and you can have your name put on one of those poles. <laughs> Young girls in kimonos. And uh, kind of walk down here. I'm gonna show you, uh, they might not have it now. Oh, they don't have it. Oh, they do have a little bit, I think. This is pretty cool. Looks like they're getting ready to make a bonfire almost, eh? No, they don't have it. They they used to have, like, the Japanese uh, straw brooms, which are pretty freaking cool. Does anybody know what this is? I actually did it uh, in my live stream, I think, in Kawagoe last week. Uh, you actually do have to follow a certain path, um, but they have it gated off here, so you can't actually do it. Um, but that's still pretty cool. Thanks for the Hit the rack. Good night. Later, bro. And now we're coming back out onto the street here. Uh, Weno Zoo is like basically over here. Um, the entrance, you can come in through here and or you can go into the middle of the park, which I made a mistake. Well, I didn't make a mistake, but I'm gonna see if I can go up this way. Maybe not. Okay, so I messed that up and uh, I gotta go back up those stairs. Oh no, I can go this way. Okay, I found it. Who's saying good night? Oh, good night, Polly. See you, Polly. And I'm thirsty. I always get, I never drink until after a live stream. Uh, more stairs. <laughs> Actually, I'm going up something. I can just see it on, on, the, on the, the right here, a pathway. I know, I know this pathway, but. <laughs> they were kind of pretty kimono style things, eh? So yeah, we're gonna go up this pathway here. And again, because of my knees, it's really hard to, because uh, trust me, still here, I just took a bath for a few minutes. Well, thank you for that uh, thought there, Christina. <laughs> Did I see somebody else in the chat here? Oh, Fidelity's here. Okay, I'm going up the wrong path, I think, but we're gonna continue. I really hope that I know where the hell I'm gonna end up. Okay, so I'm going up the wrong way, but that doesn't mean... <laughs> yeah, right? Oh yeah, I like you upset me there, Christina, no way. <laughs> uh, <coughs> it is pretty good workout though uh, I have a bum I have bad knees 
old age, you know. Hey, Moto Gnome. You saw me reply to that comment, I hope, on Cri Critical East Japan. Classic comment, bro. Love it. <laughs> Critical East uh, Japan Paul, he um, finally posted a video we did together. I posted mine a few months ago. And uh, Moto Gnome. And a smart ass wit made a pretty hilarious comment. So, oh, okay. Oh. I'm gonna be going through all these aches and pains a lot. I have no idea where I came into now though. Oh, I know where I am. Are you, uh, where are you, Moto? Are you in Vietnam? R R a pool, you must be in Vietnam. <laughs> I'm looking for the defibrillator now. What? Oh, you're in Saigon now. Oh, cool. Well, thanks for joining in for a bit, bro. The gnome is in the house. Oh, okay. I came up this way. So here is... Uh, I'm going to take you guys into here. Because you got to see this uh, temple at the end here. It's freaking beautiful. And not many people actually visit this area when they're in uh, Weno. A lot of uh, pictures. Like, there's a pagoda there. <laughs> yeah, right, Lloyd. I almost want to call the medics now. <laughs> No idea what they were speaking, but like all these uh, things here are kind of like lanterns, I think. I'm not sure. I never brush up on my history. Sound like you're gonna pass out, keep it up. I'm trying, Eric. I cannot jog uh, due to my knees, so I do a lot of bike riding and or walking. That's why I decided to uh, do this uh, tour of Japan kind of live streams because um, it makes me walk for an hour or two and uh, which obviously is really good for me right so signs of o OMS bad body parts and heavy breathing and smoking that's all it is so now we're coming into here now check out that temple right there's a bit of history on this The whole area is a map here. Um, obviously that's the shrine building itself and we just came walking from there. <coughs> but all kinds of pretty cool looking things here. He needs to lie down. <laughs> yeah, cuz you're probably right. <coughs> Check it out. The origin of the flame of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So on August 6th, obviously uh, they dropped the bomb. Da -da 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 -da. So in 1988, a flame was taken from the torch and was merged with another flame lit by the friction of broken roof, roofing tiles in Nagasaki. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not going to end up reading all of it, but basically that's what it's talking about is right there. Can't drive stick, really? Now he rides a BMW. I'd rather ride ride a BMW, anyways. Oh, it's yeah, it is actually incredibly difficult. Being a Canadian, you don't have to uh, actually do driving tests, so which is pretty cool. So this here is the uh, Karaman. It's a Chinese-style gate. It was built in 1651. Um, gold foil, as well as hand-carved flowers and birds uh, decorate the doors on both sides of the gate. So you can see like all of that here. Um, two dragons are carved uh, on the gate pillars. So there's one dragon there and there's one dragon there. Um, they are known as uh, 
Nobariru and uh, Kudariru, which means ascending dragon and descending dragon. So if you take a, a look, you can see one's ascending and one's descending, obviously. Um, this is very popular uh, area. This is. Now the rest of the shrine I'm not so sure about. Um, you can get, uh, you know, souvenir stuff and things like that. But honestly, this place is pretty uh, cool, even for pictures. Uh, right now on my Instagram, I'm doing a lot of black and white pictures. So I'm probably not going to take a picture of it. Because uh, why would I want to ruin the gold part of that, right? Um, but this is right in central middle of uh, Weno Park. It's a pretty cool area. Um, you know, to get a bit of Japanese uh, culture. If you like shrines, then, you know, maybe this is one of them to come. Of course, you can go to Meiji Shrine, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, Drew, what kind of bike do you have? I have a Ma Ma Marin, Marin uh, from California Company, uh, mountain bike uh, with road tires. So I do, well, I shouldn't say I do, but I used to uh, do 20 to 30 kilometer bike rides. I probably haven't done that in about a year now. Um, no, I do not work today, uh, Moto. Uh, I'm off until January. So, I was gonna uh, go live yesterday, but I decided to stay home, kind of take a break uh, from, from it. But, do you should switch to vaping. Sounds like it would do, uh, <laughs> I should actually just quit. Um, I, I, I'll probably smoke six cigarettes today. Uh, thank you for the concern for my health. I know Bold Nuts uh, has uh, given me some advice and LMA has given me advice and a few you have, but I'm a stubborn old man, so I probably won't listen. But thank you for the uh, concern. Out here now. <clears throat> But I am going to uh, get serious about trying to lose some weight. Uh, I'm not that fat. No comments, boiled nuts or moto gnome. Um, but I do want to get my weight down. Uh, just, I go up hills and stairs and I huff and puff. Well, six months ago, I wasn't that bad. Maybe a year ago, I was really good. Um, like talking to a brick wall. Okay, yeah, okay, boiled nuts. Here we go. And I'm sure Moto Gnome will chime in on that one, right? <laughs> love you, love you, cuz. <laughs> so this here is the end uh, of that. And I always found that this shop here was pretty cool. It's an old souvenir shop. Look how big those stairs are. Like the step between each one is really huge. This is uh, coming around into the back area of Bueno Zoo, but it's pretty cool, eh? Which I think is still pretty cool. It's a little old style in the Gachapon. And some Chinese guy just passed me. Not sure what this is here. I would, my first guess was a restaurant, but it's closed off, so. No idea. This is an entrance or the exit uh, from Weno Zoo. And this whole flat area, just as I'm raising it up here. Oh, hey, Robert, how are you? They used to have a kid's area uh, with some rides and stuff. And obviously that's gone now. As I'm standing by the, e the exit. Look at this. You see that line up in there? You see that lineup? All those people are going all over the place. Those are people waiting to see the panda. Drew, the camera adds 10 pounds. See, yeah, I wish. <laughs> uh, for you Americans out there, I am uh, 6'2", 260 pounds. Uh, for the rest of the world, I'm uh, 185 centimeters and about 115, 120 kind of kilograms-ish, something like that. Okay, maybe not 260. This is all new. This wall never used to be here. How many cameras? <laughs> you rad bastard. <laughs> so, um, the entrance to Weno Zoo. Uh, they never used to have any of this here. That's kind of weird. Even quote serious all the way. I'm down to probably about a pack a week. But it was two packs a day. Oof. 
No finger motonome, no. Not yet. Drew the panda might be mating with you if you sit down. <laughs> you rat bastard. Um, so here, this is uh, the entrance to Weno Zoo. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much it is. I'm trying to go in and see. It's not bad. Um, I like zoos, but I don't because I feel sorry for the animals after I start seeing them. Uh, admission is 600 yen for adults, 300 yen for seniors, and 200 yen for students. Children under 12 years are free. Vince flipped you the bird today? That's awesome. Um, a lot more stuff to do, wash, you know, obviously. Uh, oh, there's a washroom there, but I ain't taking you guys with me to go do that, that's for damn sure. <clears throat> As we walk around, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, where the museum is and the, uh, the wall of death. I missed all of Vin's videos today. Why did he flip you off, Richard? Actually, I didn't, uh, I was waiting for uh, Rue Crew to do their trivia today. And I noticed that Vince had posted a video, but he didn't do a live stream, which I was kind of surprised because it's kind of hard to catch all his live streams because of the time difference. But this here is a, st oh, they got something going on over here. That's cheap for a zoo. It is actually cheap. 12 year olds from the 30 year olds. <laughs> this Starbucks, this is a Starbucks here. Um, whether you like Starbucks or not, uh, this is a very popular one. Obviously, they got a lot of outside seating. And just because the weather is so nice today, very busy actually. Oh, they don't have an event. Looks like they're setting up for tomorrow maybe, so I might come back, see what the I don't know what the event is though, or maybe they're tearing down. Hey, Drew, something I saw. Is that Brock? Oh, hey, Brock. Hey Drew, walking around your local zoo. Nice to see you live. Thank you for joining, sir. So it looks like they're setting up for something tomorrow here. Uh, in this same area, they always have events, so it seems. Or maybe they're tearing down. Oh, maybe they're tearing down. That kind of sucks. Setting up, tearing down. I'm not sure. Check out how big that Starbucks is, though. Maybe, maybe take us to your old cage. I broke free. That's still a, a pretty big Starbucks. And they're lineups, like freaking lineups just to go to Starbucks. No thanks. Nice open space. Now if you were to, like from this Starbucks, if you were to walk straight down that way, that is the uh, Cherry Tree Blossom uh, Alley. And it's freaking beautiful. Like seriously beautiful. Parkside Cafe is even busy. How close are you to Harajuku? Uh, hello, what's your name? Deadly Raver, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm about half an hour. King Kong was on TV last night. Was I really? <laughs> okay. A lot of events happen here in uh, Weno Park. Well, you know, it's nice to come and hang out and on a beautiful day like today. Why would you not, right? All those Canadian pandas weigh a lot, dude. <laughs> okay, guys, you can stop any time now. Looks like uh, this here is a Koban, a little bit of a police station. Uh, not even a police station, really, but um, they're all over Japan. You know, we have, uh, I guess what they call here. See you, uh, Christina. Thank you. Not sure what they're doing. They're raising funds for something. Oh, for Ghana. Oh. Pretty cool. I was just there. Hello, Andrew Yan. You were just in Weno? Like today? <laughs> And now we're, hit, we're hitting over uh, into the museum area. Um, I don't know if it's free today, but I wanna show you this wall, guys. This wall is freaking awesome. 
real life Japanese robots. Well, Ghana robots in Japan, maybe. Oh, hello. <laughs> so this here is uh, one of the museums available here in Wendell Park. Drew is not fat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this here guys is the uh, National Museum of Western Art um, I know no cameras are allowed in here so I'm not even going to bother going in obviously but check out the statues I'll, I'll show you the wall that I'm talking about in a minute check out these statues like how cool is this Like, it's freaking amazing. I'm gonna have to take pictures and Instagram this one. Let me just tilt the camera a little bit here. Like, how cool is this? Not exactly sure what the... They don't have an information thing here. Oh, did he really? Oh, he probably got special permission, yeah. I'll find out right now, actually. Ooh, that sun is bright. I really don't know boiled nuts. I really don't know. Walked this exact path last month. Surprised there are still so many. Obviously, uh, <laughs> I wonder who. I wonder, wonder, wonder. What was that song? Oh, I wonder, wonder. Oh my God, that's a really old song. So looking here, uh, this is the entrance area. It looks like you got a bunch of waiting areas, things like that. Uh, entrance into the museum. Uh, looks like it's uh, 1,400, no, 1,600 yen. Yeah, 1,600 yen, uh, 1,200 yen. Please pick up da 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 da. I don't see rules. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, we're not going inside anyways. The area here. Sorry guys, I had just got a phone call there. Uh, it might ring again. Oh, is Alame in the house? Um, this statue is pretty cool. And then here we go. This is the showpiece. I, I, why go inside when you can see this? Does anybody have an idea besides Nosh maybe what this might be? Check this out. Can you see that clearly enough? No video. Really? Black? Can you hear me? And it went black. Uh oh. Drew Panda got the cam. Can you guys hear me though? Really? Oh no. That's weird because like, the Wi Fi hasn't kicked in or anything. Maybe the museum's hacking me. Okay, let me step away from here and see if the video. Or the picture will come back. Oh, this sucks. The screen looks good to you. So we can hear you fine. But you can't see me. They saw you with the camera and hacked you here yeah, pretty much. Well, that really sucks, guys. I am apologizing. Yeah, I, tog I toggled my screen. Let me know if you can just can see me again. Because this is really pissing me off.
No, it was the message. Okay, well, guys, guess what? Um, I'm gonna flip back, flip, 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 flip. We can't see you. Okay, uh, well, guys, I'm gonna end the stream then. Uh, and I'm gonna start up another one. Oh man, 36 people and uh, please, I'm gonna start up another one if you wanna join me again to finish the tour. Um, but I'll end this one, I don't wanna waste your time. Keep it real guys, I'll be back again.